Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Publisher 2016 and how to edit a newsletter. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a newsletter here that I created from a newsletter template. Alright, so the first thing that you should notice is when you zoom in a little bit on your newsletter that the lead story headline is the first thing you see right below the masthead. Well, down here is your lead story headline and I want you to notice that it's broken into three different columns. Okay, now let's say that you want to change the page options here to where it only displays one column. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So to set your page options, you're going to go over to the page design tab. And along the left side, you're going to see a group called the template group and it allows you to change your template if you don't like the way that yours looks or to set the page options for the specific page that you're on. So I'm looking at page one right now and so I'm going to click on options and you can see the amount of columns that could be chosen from your page options dialog box. Well, right here we see that we currently have three pages worth of options. So now I'm going to click this drop down and let's say that I just want one column right here. And so right here we see that there was three columns and now I changed it to one and I click OK. And notice that this story as well as the second story headline both changed to showing one uh, column only for the page so it now goes from the left margin all the way to the inside this issue and special points of interest section. So that's an easy way to change your page options. Let's go to page two now, page two and three. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what this looks like. There we go. And so, oh, I'll just hit the show whole page button here. All right, so we see that we have a page on the left side and a page on the right side. This is page two on the left and this is page three on the right. So let's go ahead and click that options button again and you'll see that the page content dialog box will appear and it looks a little bit different than it did before. So right here is where we could choose either page two or three. The left inside page is page two and the right inside page is page three. All right, so let's choose page two for right now. And under two, let's say that I have how many columns here? One, two, and three on my page. And you'll notice this picture kind of gets in the way of this one. So what if I want to change it? Well, the way that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my columns and I'm gonna click two. And so if I just change that to two and I click okay, you'll see that the picture was adjusted to the right side and now everything is distributed to two columns throughout the entire page. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna go back to the options tab and let's look at the right inside page now. Now on the right inside page, what we're going to do this time is I'm not going to necessarily change the, uh, or worry about the columns too much. I'll just change them to two so that it is like the other page on the left side. But check this out, over here for content for page, you could actually custom input a calendar, order form, response form, or sign in for, or sign up form. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and click calendar. And what you'll see is this third page over here on the right inside page, the top section will display a calendar and then you'll see the story gets moved below. So it'll go from three stories to one story. And so let's go ahead and click okay so we can see what that'll look like. And you'll see it'll automatically put the current month and the current year. And then you can just fill in all of these sections as needed. So there we go. And down here, the inside story headline is uh, adjusted down to fit the calendar within it. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit about setting up your newsletter and how to edit the initial options. Again, you want to make sure that you know the stories and the content that's going to be going into your newsletter kind of before you get started on editing everything. That way you don't have to adjust it at the end. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you're trying to learn more about Publisher, please check out my Publisher 2016 playlist. Uh, if this video was helpful, please uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.